Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Bob Maddox, also known as the Rocket Man. Good to see you, Bob. Yep. Thanks for being here. Good to meet you. So, so you uh, you're a local. You're a Medford resident or Rogue Valley resident. Yeah. Um, we we saw your story that Elizabeth Ruiz did. Uh, I think about a week ago. Um, mm -hmm. With you know your jets, you know your pulse jet engine featured in Star Wars. Yeah. Before we get into into all the work that you've done, how did you get into this as a career? Well, <clears throat> when you know I grew up in the '60s during the space race, so mm -hmm. I. On the black and white TV was the with the moon shots all the time, and it was the Vietnam War era, so there were jets flying over, breaking the sound barrier all the time, and uh, I was just fascinated with uh, anything that made thrust. So um, when I was a little kid, I'd get little Jet X motors and make Baltswood airplanes and put them on and take them. And we lived on uh, Old Graveyard Hill in Phoenix, and uh, so I would uh, light them up and throw them off the hill, and and they would rocket on on down the hill, and that's kind of how I. Um, how I got fascinated with thrust, mm -hmm. and then uh, much later in my life, I was uh, uh, became a skydiver, oh. and uh, so I was in a tracking contest where you go into a delta position and rocket across the sky and see how far you can go. And mm -hmm. um, I was in a contest, and I couldn't keep up with my buddy that was in front of me. And I thought to myself, "Man, I need a rocket on my chest to keep <laughs> up with Brian." And uh, literally, I thought about it in free fall. Uh, when I got to the ground, I thought. Huh, I wonder if I could come up with some kind of a jet engine or something to put on my chest, not for competition. But, sure. Um, and so this was about 95, and was, I wasn't on the internet or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, I, so I looked around, you know, just model airplane magazines, trying to find some kind of a jet engine, but they were really expensive. And, uh, but I remembered when I was a kid, when it was raining out or something, I couldn't go outside, uh, I would read encyclopedias. And I recalled seeing a schematic of a German V-1 buzz bomb. And uh, I knew that it was a very simple engine. And so I looked around and found a little bit of information, but not too much. Um, so I had some friends that were metal workers. And so I toiled in my shop for about wow. two months. And I came up with an engine that made about 50 pounds of thrust. Wow. OK. Yeah, all right. So very that's cool. how I got in on that. That's incredible. <laughs> all right. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about Star Wars, okay. talk about YouTube, and, and all, the, all the other TV stuff you've done. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're back with Bob Maddox, the Rocket Man, a Rogue Valley resident who's, who you may have seen on YouTube channel or, or on TV, and now uh, your Pulse Jet Engine featured in uh, Solo, the new Star Wars movie. So how did you get hooked up with those folks? Uh, well, I got a call last October from um, a guy named Tim Nielsen. He said, I'm with uh, Skywalker Ranch down here in uh, California, and I'm working on the next Star Wars movie. And I saw you on uh, Mythbusters, really liked the sound of your engines. And I was wondering if I could come up and uh, record you in, in your shop. So I said, well, in a couple of weeks, I'll be down in Cedarville, uh, California at the dry lake bed with my whole bunch of my engines and just meet me down there. And, and uh, we can do our show, our YouTube show, and, and you can uh, do your recording. So you met, met us down there. As simple as that, yeah, and, yeah. and now your, your audio is featured in the movie. So, yeah, so yeah. fascinating, you know, do you have to drive somewhere remote like the, those, those yeah. dry beds? To, because, I mean, you live in, in the Rogue Valley, and yeah. you've got these massive jet engines that are incredibly loud. What, do you go down somewhere that remote every other day? No, I don't. Um, <laughs> actually, I, uh, I have a shop uh, about 1,500 square feet out in the uh, Griffin Creek area, kind of okay. around Griffin Creek School. Okay. And uh, I just, uh, I don't run my engines uh, at the shop, what I do is when I'm doing testing and stuff like that, I'll pop what I call pop them off, just to make sure that they'll run. And that's just hitting the hitting the start button, and they fire for one or two seconds. Now it is like a big bore gun going off right. to to the neighbors. I mean, even though I'm inside my shop with my doors closed, I can hear the echo coming back off of the mountains when I do that. But I've never had anybody uh, anybody complain at all. Just had neighbors come over to see what's going on. <laughs> nice, good, yeah. good people. Yeah, and and when I when I want to do uh, when I need to do something a little bit more then I go out to 140 the um, about 20 miles out there's a way station area uh -huh. out there yeah. and uh, I'll do some filming out there uh, but when I want to really make a lot of noise then I go down to the Cedarville dry lake bed yeah that's where you bring where you bring yeah. all it's, yeah. it's interesting you don't and travel it, it's with wide one engine. open yeah <laughs> you're bringing 10 at a time because you got to exactly. do it right and they're a tremendous fire hazard yeah. so in the summertime I got to go down to to the lake bed to run them excellent yes yeah. especially yeah fire season uh, starting Friday yeah. so uh, yeah. people want to people want to look you up people want to mm -hmm. check out some more of your work you, you do a lot of different things besides yeah. this Pulse Jet engine. Yeah. Uh, what's the best way for them to, to search you? Well, you can go to maddoxjets.com, which is my uh, website, or you can go to um, 
Rocket Man, the Rocket Man show on YouTube. And in order to find that, you uh, in the search bar at the top, you put in my name, Robert Maddox, and then it'll take you to my channel. I have about 80 videos on there. Wow, a lot of cool stuff. Great yeah. to meet you. Yeah. you know, it's it's uh, pretty fascinating what you're doing. You're right here, born and raised in the Rogue Valley yeah. as well. Awesome. Yeah. Good to see you. Thanks yeah. so much for being here. Glad to meet you. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.